Here at WNBF, we're continuing to highlight black history during our Bridging the Gap series. Here in the Booker T. Washington community in Myrtle Beach, you're likely to hear about Charlie's Place, a legendary venue that had the likes of Billie Holiday and Little Richard performing right here in the Grand Strand. But as we all know, where there's entertainment, there's a lot of food. So here's the heart of the black community, some good old soul food. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, you name it, it's on the menu inside a black soul food restaurant. Does it have french fries on? Yes, sir, that's plain. Plain. The sizzle of fried chicken in Myrtle Beach goes back as far as Mrs. Francis' kitchen in 1949. Mrs. Francis Bowens was known for putting her foot into some good old southern dishes. At first, her restaurant was sacred, only known by black Grand Strand locals and visitors, until 1978 when a local newspaper review sent white South Carolinians following the smell to the Booker T. Washington community. Mrs. Francis died in 1983, but not before passing her restaurant onto her son Prince, who renamed it Prince's Place and kept the good eats going until the early 2000s. Nowadays, there's Big Mike's Soul Food, keeping the grease as hot as South Carolina summer. Owner and Myrtle Beach Councilman Mike Chestnut decided to bring Southern Eats back to the Grand Strand in 2012. Big Mike credits much of his recipes to his mom, but his culinary roots goes deeper. A dishwasher at 12, commercial cook at 14, and a restaurant owner by 50. Be it chicken bar, collard greens, or catfish, Big Mike's mission is to keep the soul along the Grand Strand. And you may be wondering what goes into creating some good old mac and cheese, yams, greens, turkey legs. I could go on for days, y'all. Well, we had Big Mike and Prince Bowens pull up a seat to share the deets. I think people in their minds say, well, this is the kind of food that I've grew up on. You know what I'm saying? Comfort food. And yeah. comfort food and, you know, hey, but it's, I've had one guy, he said, if you ever talk to my mom, don't tell my mom this, but your food is a whole lot better than my mom's food. I, said, oh, you well, so <laughs> I don't want to start no family feuds or nothing, but, yeah. but again, though, you know, like I said, what brought me around the, you know, I, I went to culinary school, I've done the, the foo foo stuff, and mm -hmm. but what brought me back to soul food was seeing the lines and stuff and knowing if, if Miss Francis can do it back in the day, I can do it today. Head over to WNBFnews.com to check out this episode or listen where you get your podcasts.